I wasn't going to make a video today, you know, just out for a walk, um, but look what I found up on the track. Can you see it? It's a bag of nails. The, the farmer is uh, repairing the, the fences and putting in new posts, so that's probably where he's dropped them on the way down. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know that my videos tend to be about navigation and some very, or rather extremely, <laughs> tenuously linked diversions off of history and geology and chemistry and physics and other waffle <laughs> that I find interesting anyway, so hopefully you do. Now, these, <laughs> you can use these for both. This is just a normal, I don't know how long that is, it's a nail. Um, you can use these for navigating. You know, let's say that you're, you know, you've parked your car and you know that you walked on a bearing of, I don't know, one, two, three, and you walked off and then you've gone to go back and you found out that you've lost your map and your compass. What do you do? <laughs> you need to go on a reverse bearing, which will be, what's that, 303, we'll call it 300. So you need to go back on approximately 300 degrees to find your car. And you haven't got a map and a compass, you're lost. What do you do? Well, 303 or 300 degrees, it's, it's basically, what's that, it's northwest. So you need to go northwest. So if you can see the sun or the moon or the stars, finding the cardinal points on a compass is really, really simple. I've actually made a video about how to do that. I'll, I'll put the link in the description box. But if you can't see the sun or the stars or the moon, you know, it's a cloudy day or whatever, and you just happen to find a, <laughs> a piece of metal then you can find your way back to the car. Alternatively, if you don't happen to find a piece of metal, in, in most rucksacks, there are bits of metal that will do. So I thought today, just for a really quick, uh, <laughs> quick video, I'll show you how to use a piece of metal to find your way back to, to your car. So let's say that you haven't found a, uh, a lucky bag of nails and you still, you still want to uh, find your way back to your car. Let's have a look. In most rucks, rucksacks, people have <laughs> stuff that they can use. I don't know what. Oh, I've got a flask. Can't use that. I'm looking for something metal that I can hit. Um, set of waterproofs? No. Um, <laughs> what else have we got? S survival shelter? Oh, a rope. I was just teaching on an uh, advanced course last week and I introduced the, in, on advanced courses I always say to people the best way to know that you've properly absorbed some information is to learn to do it, to do it yourself and then teach people. Once you start teaching other people a skill you know that you've absorbed it and I use this bit of rope you know in the uh, in the 18th century there were press gangs these were a bunch of people from a ship and they would literally go around the town what we would now call kidnapping <laughs> they would just grab guys put them on the ship and uh, you'd become a member of the ship's crew but to make sure that they uh, couldn't escape once being grabbed they used to have these ropes, or not this one, this is a bit of old climbing rope, but they used to have something tied around their waist and they would use this. Um, and all they do is they would throw it up into the air and you've got a set of handcuffs. Now, I, I use that because some, some people will want that explaining, some people will want them to show me step by step how it's done, some people will learn monkey fashion, you know, they'll watch it and be able to do it. So diff everybody absorbs information differently, but anyway, that's what I use this piece of rope for. Anyway, what was I doing? Looking for some stuff in my rucksack. What have we got? Ah, we've got some spare hats, gloves, head torches. Aha, we have something here. We have in this, this one here, we, ah, here we go. We have a Leatherman knife. Oh, now, I'm not going to for this video because these are quite expensive, but I imagine if I hit this blade with a stone for long enough, I could snap that blade off um, and then I would have my piece of metal. But, uh, you know, you can always, in, in most rucksacks, you, you can find a piece of metal. But I shan't be uh, breaking my Leatherman knife today. So what, because <laughs> luckily I found a, uh, I found a bag of nails. So how do you use this nail to create the compass? You just 
Just as a by the by, I'll show you something here. Let me find an actual compass. There you go, so I'll show you this. Let me just bring it over. As you can see, this nail, there's a, there's a normal compass. And as you can see, the nail has, it is metal, so it's got a little bit of an effect, but it's got virtually no effect. There's, so this nail isn't magnetized. Okay, so it's not affecting the, the compass. Um, so I need to turn this nail into a compass. So to do that, I need to magnetize this. If you're going to do this at home, by the way, what you do is get a flat piece of iron, put it on an anvil or something hard and flat, and then just repeatedly hit it with a hammer, um, just up and down it. Try and point the piece of, piece of metal that you're using, generally north-south, um, so it, uh, it'll do that. Hit it with a hammer a few times, and it'll turn into a magnet. If you then suspend that magnet on a piece of cotton or something, then it will invariably, it might take a while, but eventually it will point due north and due south. But I have forgotten my hammer, and I've forgotten my anvil. <laughs> it's not the sort of thing I normally carry around in my rucksack. So what we're going to do here, we're going to use this rock, which, <laughs> which is a highly technical rock, and I'm going to, I'll, I'll use this rock here. And all I, I'll, I'll bring the camera in closer so you can see what I'm going to do. Oh, mind you, this particular nail, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, the, uh, the head is deformed, so it may, uh, that may affect it. So I'll use a pointy one. Let's just uh, get a proper, get one that's not broken. I don't... So here's our nail. And just to, before I start, you're only going to do this if you really have to, you know, <laughs> unless you're crazy like me. Um, if you think you're going to use this when you're lost, it could be in, in the deep forest, it could be up the mountains. If you think being lost is the worst thing that can happen to you, it's not. Imagine being lost and blind. <laughs> so, I'm only saying that because of this. Let me get a rock. Let me find a decent rock first and I'll show you what I mean. Um, there you go, there's one. Oh, that, that is a better one there. So here's a nice rock. Now, if I start hitting this rock, bits are going to fly off, and they're going to fly off at a tremendous rate, <laughs> very high speed. If they go into your eyes, it's a big problem. So, the trick is, every time, every single time you bring your hand down, you must turn your head away. So, you're doing this, you're literally... It may hurt your neck, but it's better than being blind. Seriously, do not, do, you never look at two rocks that are being smashed. If you're doing this at home with a hammer and an anvil and a piece of metal, wear safety glasses. I know I'm starting to sound like one of these paranoid health and safety freaks, but I've had things in my eye before when I was <laughs> doing some DIY and it went wrong and it really hurts. Um, so safety first. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it and literally turn my head away and hit it. It's not very flat, this piece of rock. I need a flatter rock. It's not going to work. Here's a flat piece here. So I'll use this piece here. Let's have a look. I don't know if it's going to balance. That should do it. No, nope, it's not going to balance. <laughs> you realise most other people making videos for YouTube, they would prepare everything and everything would always go right. <laughs> Anyway, so here's my, that's a bit flatter. So I'm going to look, all I'm going to do is hit quite hard. I'm going to hit this nail with this rock probably 200 times. And the idea of this is to disrupt the magnetic domains in the, uh, in the iron. I made a video a couple of weeks ago about, it's called, Why Do Compasses Point North? I'll put the link in the, in the box for this one. Um, if you watch that, it explains about magnetic domains. Anyway, here we go, let's give it a try. 200 hits. Now I'm gonna hit the other end. So try and do it all the way along. It takes a lot less time doing this with a, um, oh, it's a helicopter. It takes a lot less time doing this with a hammer um, on a piece of metal. It works quicker, but using stones, 
it does work but it's <laughs> really really slow i'm keeping my head turned away from where the the rocks are hitting i'll come back to you in a moment when i finish <laughs> that should be enough well hopefully <laughs> let's have a look has it let me get my compass let me uh Obviously, I'm pretending I haven't got a compass. This, this is just for the video. Let's have a look. I'll show you what's happening here. So it wasn't magnetic to start with. And now, if you look, I don't know if you can see that, I'll hold it back. The, uh, the compass is actually following the needle. There you go, can you see that? So this piece of nail, this nail is now basically a very weak magnet. Obviously, if I'd hit it for longer, then it would have been a stronger magnet. So what we need to do now is we need to somehow use this as a compass. So how am I going to do it? Um, let's have a look. What have I got? Ah, there you go. So I'll use this. Let me just grab this. Ah. So if you happen to have a spare pair of boot laces or something in your rucksack, I never carry them because they're never needed. They would be, but I always carry these stuff sacks. Um, and if you've got stuff sacks, then you've uh, you've always got stuff like this. Let me get one here. So here's what. So I've always got these bits of string that I can use as a uh, as a pair of boot laces if needy needed. So all I do is I'm going to take this out, and I've now got a piece of string. Here's my <laughs> nail compass. Put that down there is I'm going to tie a loop in the end and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the loop underneath the, uh, the nail or the piece of metal that you've got and then suspend it like this so it's like that can't get it to go over it will go over there you go so and then try and get it so it's suspend so it's actually as balanced as you can get it Okay, so we want it so it's as balanced as we can get it and then what we're going to do is we're going to literally allow the compass to rotate Remember the round end is the north Okay, so it's still spinning. So what you need to do is you need to allow the compass to <laughs> I'm calling it a compass. It's actually a nail. So you need to allow it to Calm down. It will calm down eventually. Hopefully you can see this There you go, so it's actually pointing In that direction Okay, I'll try and keep it still and I'll get my compass. Oh, I've just moved it. <laughs> Let's start it all again. So I'll let it come down. It will calm down eventually. Just let it calm. And if you look, I don't know if you can see that on your camera, but the nail is actually pointing due north and due south. I'll, I'll try and zoom in on the edit so you can actually see this. It's better, <laughs> it'd be better if it wasn't swinging in the wind, but if you look at the nail, it's actually pointing due south and due north. Now, so I, if, if I didn't have my compass, I would know that this way is north and that way is south. Okay, so we've got it. <laughs> so it actually works. So if that's south, if that's north, that must be east, that must be west, so my car is in that direction. Okay, so if the hitting it with a, with a nail, by the way, if a hitting it with a rock doesn't work after 200 hits, then give it another 200 hits. Um, if it, oh, <laughs> I'm being accosted. <laughs> just, I don't know. <laughs> You see, this is it. Other people who have YouTube channels, they have a very smart, um, <laughs> smart studio. You don't have itinerant dogs just walking into your set. <laughs> anyway, so if it doesn't work after 200 hits, then do it another 200 hits. If that still doesn't work, then find another piece of metal. There are always bits of metal on your rucksack or in your rucksack or somewhere. You know, as an example, it doesn't have to be as big. It could be 
the it could be the little metal things on your uh, on the zips. It it could be the, this little tag of mine that's metal. Find something. It, it may not work perfectly, but you're lost already. So you know, desperate times need desperate measures. So anyway, there you go. So we've made <laughs> a compass, and unlike a lot of the stuff that you see on uh, websites, this actually works. Thanks for watching.